more or nothing. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of More or Nothing with Ryan and Max as always. But most importantly, we have got the man of the moment in England and Saracen's back row, Ben Earl. Thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to getting it's into so it. It's so good to see you. <laughs> ben, you are real. Okay, that is true. You are friends with Max. That is true. We didn't believe it. That is also true. I don't know if we didn't believe that you were friends. We just thought you were ignoring him when he can kept I, saying, sorry, we'll get now, Ben Earl. Can I just show you? Can I just show you just what, 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 at, what we believe, okay? Here we go. Right. Sliding doors, Ben Earl isn't even at the World Cup if Eddie Jones is still around. And yet he was man of the match for you guys. That guy was just incredible. I mean, he was like in the tiger, he was everywhere. Friday, 20th October. At Max La Hip, can you try and get Ben Earl <laughs> for 15 <laughs> men's on Monday? I'll message him now, sir. Legend. Saturday, 21st October. At Max La Hip, let us know how you get on with Ben. I've asked, I'll let you know when he replies. So he says timing Monday could be an issue. I'm trying to find a suitable time. He'd be on a bender in Dubai or something, I'd imagine. Monday, 23rd October. At Max Lahef, did Ben ever come back? He ain't replied, and I sent it a while back. They're probably on a bender. I'll message him again. Sunday, 19th of November. Messaged Arundel. Hopefully he won't. Ben Earl me. <laughs> At Max Lahef, anything back from Earl? Just call him. He can't ignore your phone calls. I'll ring him. Nothing back yet. Friday last week. Your voice is good. What time for Ben? <laughs> Whenever's best for him. Well, we will get more on that uh, when we speak to uh, Ben Earl, if he is, in fact, coming, <laughs> bearing in mind that... He that makes sense. ...the shit out of Max Lee <laughs> for the last three months. That oh, actually oh, makes sense. Oh, so, oh, yeah, pause, pause. So, 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 basically, the back story of that is... You were like to me, you were like, mate, man, we're all into Monday. I was like, okay, brilliant. That's great. Oh, whatever day it is now, Tuesday, Wednesday. I've, like, agreed to that. It went... <laughs> Ryan messaged me and goes, man, I uh, don't trust Max. Um, are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> are you actually coming? I was like, I was like, this is the most bizarrely run podcast <laughs> ever. <laughs> I was like, what am I getting myself? I don't with? trust Max. <laughs> I was like, I don't trust Max. Um, are you actually coming? And if uh, so, what time works? And we're going to do it in the first uh, one. I was like, right, yeah, I am coming. So we're not going to get the Mandarin or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you I'm, know, sorry, yeah, but I'm, I'm sorry if I aired you. I don't, don't no, think mate. that actually it's, happened. No, it's okay. I'm so happy. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed that those guys heckling me at the station after the Stone Notes. That cracked me up. All the Saris fans <laughs> are like, is he ever going to come on? As he, he's always been like this, surely, because he's <laughs> late for fucking everything. Couldn't, like, couldn't organise piss up a brewery. Uh, honestly, awful. And... Like his communication skills are fucking yeah, terrible. I'd, and I I'd get, say I get this it. I'd say, I, I, I'd say I get I've you got... don't like going on your phone. Yeah, right? I hate but, my phone. Oh, but oh, you've got to look at your phone every now and then because I'll text him and it'll be like a day later he'll text me back. And I'm mm. like, well, you can't look at his phone because he's too busy. <laughs> <laughs> you would love it. By Roping. Way. I've got enough peace in my mind. I don't need to rope. Oh, I don't know. I reckon we should. We're going to do an episode. Of oh, we we do that. If you yeah. send me, a, okay, here's the deal. If you send me a set of ropes, I don't know the going rate on the rope. <laughs> I will try and attempt to do it in my garden. Okay, there cool. we have it. There we have it. There it is on camera. Oh, now Underhill's my next one. He keeps blanking me. I'm fine. I'm hunting him down. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's like, yeah. Can't do it this week. Yeah. No, yeah, we've got a full week. The problem is Max gets then. Uh, so he goes. He, he internalizes a lot of it, and then he's like, "Well, maybe, maybe the relationship wasn't what I thought it was." No, the relationship is what you thought it was. <laughs> it is. I, I'll back Max up. I mean, okay. we, were, we were we were good mates at the club. <laughs> but, <laughs> but however, yeah. we fell out of contact. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's just the way it is. No, it's I don't even cool. think we run out of contact. I just think like I've reacted to some stuff, and you'd be like, "Thanks, man." I'm like, oh, I'm I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually Max. Yeah. yeah so no, like you'd I'm... make a you'd make a dish and mostly a, a gooey stew. Like, <laughs> that looks good. Like thumbs up. Maybe like knowing my cynicism, you'd have been like that. Obviously, and then you'd be like, "Thanks, mate." And I'd be like, oh, "Wasn't serious." <laughs> 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna double down on something like this. That's Still weird, isn't it? Got the fucking carcass in the stew. No, it's true. There's no the bone marinade in the. It's got it right. You imagine going around just. Is this meant to be in the fucking? I'm just gonna throw some there. stinging nettle in there because it's, it's on my path. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't go. It was meant to be. Uh, it, was, it was on my path home. Man. And then right. just just to top it off, I'll just get some sand from my thousand kilogram sand. Bag. I'm gonna start <laughs> doing that inspired top, meals. Like, I'm gonna nuts. start doing player inspired meals. My next one's gonna be Ben That is something. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe a cookbook is your. That could be a thing. After rugby, yeah. oh, didn't Haskell make a cookbook? He's done everything, hasn't he? It may fucking holy saturation. <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck! I had to well, see. He's actually playing. Oh, he's actually playing at the at the showdown for the Saracens versus Harlequins. Uh, mate, I had to fucking sit next to him in the England Fiji game. All oh, right. Oh god, you're not even fucking Scottish. <laughs> I'm fucking Toso <laughs> Viti. <laughs> Right, Six Nations. Let's go. <laughs> um, yes, I, I suppose let's bring it back to that. Uh, hopes for the Six Nations? I think um, we've got a lot of momentum, but obviously there's a few bits going on around the England squad in terms of changing of coaching staff. Um, Owen obviously not playing, Courtney retiring. There's a lot of Ben Young's retiring, a lot, lot of changeover in terms of personnel. Um, but I think it's an exciting time to be an England fan, England player, because there's a, like a real sense that this is now a four-year project and I think you're going to see some real progression in terms of how we play. It's probably going to be similar to how it was in the World Cup and I think you're just going to see that that team progress into to Australia. No, man. Australia yeah. 23. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, you think you're going to play the same way that you did in the World Cup? I think with some of the players that aren't there and the way that some of the players are playing, the likes of Mitchell, mm. the likes of Marcus Smith, who we'll see Yeah, they're playing in, unbelievably well, yeah. Surely the game plan is going to match that a bit more. We had a chat about this a few weeks ago. Our question to Max was, would he, as an England fan, rather England finish third and play the most ridiculous brand of rugby with like the likes of yourself, Marcus Smith, want to play open rugby, throw the yeah, ball yeah. about and have a crack? Or would you rather England finish second but play a little bit more of an no, boring, much more, just a, a much worse much brand of rugby, brand just kick the ball and, and, and get results? And I think we agreed it was finished there, but play a real exciting brand of rugby with the likes of Marcus Smith, etc. Surely he's got a little bit of that in his mind with the way that Alec Mitchell's playing. They're, they're playing Marcus really Smith well, playing. but I think I think what you what you don't see is those guys are very good at the, the the modern the modern player and actually all the players we've spoken about so far, like very adaptable can play in many different ways. And there are probably strengths in their game that we've not seen yet. But like Steve is very good at giving players license at the right time. And I think we'll see, uh, hopefully we'll see a bit more of a progression in our game. But I know we've, I know they've got high aspirations about where the England team's going to go. So fingers crossed, watch this space. Ben, you've been actually part of, you're probably the perfect person to, to ask how something, the transition from that World Cup to potentially, let's say, a new style of rugby, because Saracens have done that, you know, won everything, but then have been like, we need to develop a more expansive style, and then have done that very, very successfully. How hard is that to implement at international level? So how, you know, for for the your, your average fan, how unlikely is that to happen because of the difficulty of achieving those results? Well, I think, I think first and foremost, it's very different from clubs and international team because of the amount of time you get together. And I think... If 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 like Ryan had prophesized, we are going to have a bit more of a go in attack. There there will be times where it looks really clunky. There will be times where it, there's a lot of errors, and I think fans might have to deal with a bit of that. And I think you've also got to play to your strength. So you know, if you are picking Marcus Smith, then yeah, maybe a bit more of a running game. But um, but yeah, it takes a lot of time, and and it takes it's a painful journey. I remember when we were doing it at Saris in terms of probably over the last year or two. Um, the amount of times we as forwards were running like pods of three off nine and getting it wrong. Faz would like stop, do it again, do it again until until it was ingrained in us. And it, it takes a long time. So yeah, in terms of the time you have together as an international team, we're going, um, the boys are going to Barcelona, I think going to Girona before the Italy game and then flying straight to Rome. So it's only a week um, of, of preparation, I think. But um, we'll have to see what happens. On a club level, I mean, we will talk about it on the um, international scene, but what, what's been the impact of um, 
Faz's decision to go and play in France. How have you felt it? Something that somebody who represents Saracens, when the first person you think of probably when it comes to Saracens. I think first and foremost, you've got to celebrate the time he's had in the Premiership. I mean, what an amazing player, an amazing competitor, um, an amazing bloke, actually, and that probably doesn't get the the credit for that as, as he does, uh, uh, he deserves. But um, I think also it would be a massive loss to the Premiership. But who can blame him? He's given so much to the game in terms of the English game, um, a new experience to go and play with players he he's probably wanted to play with for a while in terms of Khaleesi and a few others to us over. Um, the thought of those three linking up was pretty scary if, that, if that's what happens. And then obviously working with Lancaster as well. Um, people talk about Racing being the most English, most French club. So um, I think he'd, he'd be brilliant out there if he goes and um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I mean, yeah, it's um, it's still... We as players still don't know what's going on and, and, and you know, it's for him and his family to sort out, but um, we just want the best for him. And, and if that's what he thinks is the best for him, then we'll back him 100%. Saris are like famously a very tight knit group and, and all that shit that's, that he, that has come out, that, that's come Faz's way over the years that, you know, he seemed to have absorbed and, but been so strong about it. What's the response being internally and, and particularly for you as as friends you know hearing him getting booed at a world cup that's kind of insane right in a way it was, it was atrocious yeah it was it was actually well it was hurtful and i think i think that combined with that whole red card um saga in terms of him getting cleared but the media for all meant that he'd have he had a retrial i mean it's just crazy isn't it? and um some of the stuff he was exposed to his family was exposed to in terms of social media and stuff who can blame him for, for taking some time out from England? And um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't blame him for that. I think I think anyone in their right mind would have done the same thing. Fair enough. Now it does mean that there is a, a vacated space uh, in the England captaincy. I had a quick uh, Google earlier. If I Google Ben Earl England captain, uh, two articles pop up from uh, the first two that pop up from uh, very reputable sources, the Times. And um, you've got uh, Stuart Barnes and Alex Lowe, uh, who've been receiving your bungs clearly over, over a certain extended <laughs> period of time. Uh, and they are very much talking up yourself as the next England captain. Um, if you're offered it, do you take it? If I was offered it, of course you would take it. It's, the, it's your dream um, to represent your nation, um, leading that group of, of, of people. Yeah, 100%. I, I don't think it's going to happen. In fact, I know it's not going to happen. But um, yeah, I would love to at, at some point. I, I I love. I think leadership has always got a little bit of the best out of me. I love. I love the idea of representing the team, being the face of the team, being the heartbeat of that team. And um, yeah, you know, hopefully around the corner. But you know, I think whoever gets that role, um, there's so much leadership quality still left in that squad that um, I think we're going to be all right. I think the other thing you got to remember the fucking pressure that comes with it as well like that's what's worn well what what, what people don't realize is that like we, we, we've played games and we've won and lost and within seven minutes of the full-time whistle he's in a in a media room with 50 journos and like to face questions after a win is probably a bit easier than after a disappointing loss or a disappointing performance so that stuff like that is just is it probably is mind-blowingly exhaustive and then you know that there's obviously the community and the face of the team and and the commercial side which you know we know is part of the job and we love doing certain aspects of that um, but i'm sure that really does weigh you down and the problem is you can't win because after a game if you go in with a smiling <coughs> face happy as larry it all oh, why is he so smiling if you go in with a sour face pissed off yeah oh god cheer up mate these like, boys don't know how good they get it and yeah. essential like that. It's, it's a tough old place to be so yeah. That's one thing I think with the England captaincy, especially probably not so much because, you know, what I said about the way that England play, still still got to where you did in the fucking World Cup. Like, you did the job that you needed to do and, and there was so much heat coming around it. So still did the job, but I think it's the brand of rugby that everyone wants to see them play. So England captain, it's a fucking tough old yeah. job to take on and you see the pressures of it and it wears down on people. So No, for sure. I think I think it's we, like, we think like you so should be it's, it's a cycle, anyway. isn't it? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, here, it's, it's, here. it's a cycle, isn't it? And like it, it feels like it's um, it's come to the end for like that England team that we those people that we associate with the England team, the Ben Youngs, Courtney Laws, the Owens, 
um, those guys, you know, and, and that's great. And now it's time for someone else, the responsibility to take that mantle on. Who's been the best captain you've ever played under? Owen or Brad. Owen and Brad, for, Brad Barrett, for very different reasons. Um, Owen is just unbelievable in terms of the way he sees the game, the way that he can motivate a, a, a players, the way he can squeeze out every bit of the players. I mean, you, you don't want to compare sportsmen, but that, you've seen that Jordan documentary, The um, Last Dance. It's very similar to that. There's actually some scarily similar moments in that documentary. I'm like, I actually know exactly what that feels like. That that Steve Kerr scene with the uh, where they talk about in the he was real riled up and they had a scrap with Owen. Like there are times when, as a young player, he will want to try out if you can handle it in the in the big moments. And like he will, it, he's on your team. He's playing with you, and, and it, it's it's an awful position to be in. But it, you become so much stronger because of it. Like you don't feel like you can do anything right. Your confidence is rock bottom, and then you've got the whole day to day off the day after to think about and watch it back and then and then on Thursday morning he's he's absolutely fine with you because you've got through it and, and you've but in what sense yeah what's the worst yeah. there must be a, what's the first one that comes to your mind like, what, yeah in what sense yeah. does he do that well like for example like he'll make you throw your pass you drop it everyone drops a pass and you get like of slaughter like and it's just like everything it's like if you don't quite get you're sprinting off a line and there's always more you can get you you're running around the corner you can always run faster like and and he's right <clears throat> and every every person i've i've played with in terms of the young guys coming through while he's been established as the leader of the team has to go it's like a rite of passage you've got to go through that uh, and, and it's and it's it's <laughs> it's funny watching it now because i've had it and and I've, people that now my age have had it and watching these young lads come in and just be like I am so bad at rugby, and oh, and in a way, so, in, a so way in a way, in, but in a way, like it's the best thing for the team because you 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 come there, you you've, you've been told you're playing in your first game, Saracens, you you played a few games, but you're still not quite cemented your place, whatever, and you're just so hungry to be better. You're so much, you're so much you want to like. You realise there's so much to learn in this game, and actually, like I said, it's the best thing for the team. But but the one thing with Owen is you've got to realise he just wants the best for the team and if you're stopping the team progressing then you are going to hear about it which is great and then on Brad on the other hand Brad was like the biggest case of like do like do as I do not not as I say like I will lead this team with the way I carry myself the way I play like I remember we played um, I wasn't playing at the time I was only 19 but we played Clem we, he did his he did his face he did his cheekbone in like the semi-final and then we played Claremont at Edinburgh and he had it done the two days before and played and it was like that is and the, the, the surgeon was like you, you you can't play you can't do this like it's not nothing's gonna happen but this is just gonna like screw you up and he was like I'm playing and I think that I get yeah, I obviously I don't know the circumstances around that but like that is just he's just a freak of nature yeah, that was the one by the way all French yeah. like we were all like we use that when Dupont got done as the example yeah. that it is doable it's to, doable yeah. to, to play so like every fan from there knows that Brad, Brad Barrett story. nailed himself and that he came back and played because yeah. it was like we were like clinging on to I mean you must have played against Brad well you played against Brad yeah, I know yeah. Owen a few times but Brad when you played we, we always seem to draw you in like Either a group game and or quarter final of the Champions Cup. How annoying is he to play against? Because you would have been opposite. I, him, right? I, I, we wouldn't have played against each other. But I remember watching, we, I've trained as you quite a few times actually. I've been you. <laughs> no, no, I love it. You know, they put a bib on. That is so good. What? Well, like, I don't, know, I don't know if this happens at other clubs, but like yeah. at, at Saris and certainly at England, like you would, there'd be like, there'd be like, there'd be like players that you'd try and emanate. And like, for example, like I remember training as Van der Fleer and I had a red scrum cap on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, done, we've done that. Before. We've done that. But anyway, like Ryan, Ryan Wilson does certain what things around the breakdown. and He does certain things around the breakdown. Well, he's cheating. He's <laughs> That's it. I just made a career out of cheating. But, uh, <laughs> hey. but yeah, so like, it was, it, was, it was actually quite a fun week for me. I remember like flying into every breakdown off my feet, you know, lying anywhere. <laughs> You know, holding lads in at breakdowns where they're trying to get out. Anyway, so like that happens. You think this is great. End of the session, everyone just fucking hates, hates you. <laughs> <laughs> By the end, I've got a skull burger like doing Wild, things though. that are pretty vile to me, like and saying things in Afrikaans. And I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to help the team. I've been told and all the coaches are like, <laughs> hey, and I'm so walking off, I'm walking off so like, true. boys, I'm so sorry. It, like. it was a tough place to be. It's a I've, tough I've been you, man. Tough role to have. It's a tough hey, you bring it on yourself. Going back to fans, um, 
What happened between him and Henry? That honestly was the most mental. I don't know where that came. So from. it's complete. There was a there was a there was a session where Faz. This is when Faz was still banned, and Faz not playing. He's probably having a bit of like a how can I help the team by not playing? You've got to drive stands to training. Faz puts an up and under up. You know Henry. Henry's a young guy. I mean, how many professional games must play? Yeah, thirty many, games. Yeah. Like still doesn't really know his craft. He probably knows it a lot more now that he's had a different exposure. But like. Still doesn't know what like turning up train each day like with nursing injuries. I mean, he's a high performing athlete if ever there was one, and he's probably like still trying to warm up and he's he's run after this ball at let's say eighty percent, which is still faster than anyone else on the pitch. <laughs> but Faz Faz obviously either I don't know doesn't like the way and and and, and you know he, he gives him one of the one of the treatment that we've all had anyway. Someone's like how that came out in the media like three months later, uh, three right. weeks later, it's normal. Henry's not being picked because Faz. Like told that he's a good. That's honestly, you're just like you're reading it, and you're actually it's like, that doctors. is genius. That is so funny. Um, How have they got that? And I think we kept trying to like get a picture where like Owen and Henry were like walking together. Like, <laughs> it just never happened. But yeah, like well, the funny thing was, I was on that cruise ship in Marseille oh, doing right. the hospitality stuff, and uh, Haskell, Payno, and Tyndall yeah. that did a thing before, and, and they were all asking about Owen Farrell and Aaron Doyle. It was at, right at the time. And they're like, no, no, I'm not sure. We haven't heard anything. And I got up and I went, well, I've heard they've had a real bad bust up at training. And everyone's like, Wilson knows the inside scoop. And I they're like, we're like, getting yeah, him back yeah, next yeah, week. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got up and they were straight over. Mate, what did you hear? I was like, I was only fucking joking. Like, I don't have a fucking clue, do I? And everyone on the post, like, oh, there must have been something. <laughs> so hey, you can see how it grows. That's it, easy. It just it goes grows, viral. Like, yeah, from you. No, not from the fucking Click boat, mate, man. Yeah. Click, mate. From the Back boat. Not, not from the boat party that yeah. went to... I, it, it set sail for Ibiza when I was on it. Oh, my god! Yeah, my missus wasn't happy. Right. Sorry, baby. Let's see Ibiza, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm still like, reading from... I mean, that was all great, but the uh, <laughs> you had to pretend to be Ryan in training and everyone fucking hated you. I remember that game. I remember me and Faz going at it because... It, it, it got ridiculous when we used to play against Az and it would like, there'd be a fucking big scuffle and it'd be, I'd always try and find my way through it and I'd be like, fucking there you are. We'd go on it. And by the end, it was just like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and we were just like, going like that. And it just became a joke in the end. Like there's a scramble. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just I fucking. just remember, I think, we, I think it was at Glasgow and you scored and, and like Mara like jumped in on the celebrations that like that like started that do you remember that I was just like Mara just like yeah, but Ma Mara right, is the nicest guy the most leveled guy like obviously very very good at his craft gets onto the pitch and you're like who are you like what is <laughs> what is what, like, but what, that's, that's what I love that's what but I that's love like, but that is like rug, that's like prime the best rugby players are like that like Scott Berger like we talk about drinking like he he he'd be inviting me around like, I'm obviously trying to like push to get involved I'm like 20 years old he's like Benny Benny come over for a lager eh? and like I'm like <laughs> right I'm like this is pretty cool like I've watched your highlights and then he set me down and he just got this like raw like line of lagers and he's like come on then let's, let's chat and drink and he's just like that and I'm like I've got training the next day and so have you and I'm actually I'm, funny enough, I'm keeping your shirt warm while you're nursing a hammy here. So can you get that right? <laughs> can you decide whether you're going to play or not? Um, he was a legend. Eh? Like we talked to we him about know, yeah. um, back of the bus after they lost against Japan. Japan, Japan wasn't yeah. it? And he was and he like, even right. after that, he was like, no, no, we just got a pack of beers, sat at the back of the bus, and just yeah. fucking drank it away. He's, drank he's, it away. He talked about St. Anton. So like, obviously, we're all like on mental drinks, drinking what things and rose, Jaeger bombs, other things. And he is honestly, no one has like drunk more lagers than him. And he's, and he's still at like three in the morning, just like sipping on a bottle. Like, how are you not bloated? How are you not like, <laughs> how are you not like dying of indigestion here? The amount of yeast in Yeah, there, honestly. He, um, so he, he was great though, like in terms of like realizing the, like I've, I've, I've learned the value of training with like your likes of Owen and, and Wiggy and the all brilliant trainers, great competitors. And then there's the other end, which is like Scala, which is like, He's going to turn up and train. He's not going to train very well. But my God, when he like crosses the whitewash to play, you're like, that is incredible. Mate, that's Francois Lowe as well. That was his favourite saying. You never win a game on a Monday or a Tuesday, Max. Yeah, but then if you're a young player, how do you cope with that exact situation, right? With Scalc there or Francois Lowe. Then you've got, you know, Faz or Wigglesworth and stuff. And you're like, 
that's two very different approaches to, to well, I think you've, you I think you've got to find your whatever good works your, for you. your yeah, way yeah. but also like you've got to buy into what the team's doing like the, at the same time they're like there was a few that were like that like Michael Rhodes would never train but would play the house down Scott Britts wouldn't train really um, Scott Berger so like, there was a few of so it wasn't like there's a South African so, thing going so on. it wasn't like a, it wasn't like norm but like now um, they're you know this week if, if anyone's nursing an injury if you hadn't trained today you weren't going to play how do you train now? Hard, you say you train harder, 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 harder as we have, hard as you can. Well, we're also like we're going through a bit of a, a a transition phase, you know, trying to find our identity. And like, unfortunately, rugby is one of the ones where you like you do have to train. You do have to like work your way out of work your way into some form. You can't just turn up and hope it happens because it just looks crunky and whatever. Um, so we are working very hard. Yeah, I thought. You, you guys famously, when you had a bad run, it was the pack of beers on a Monday. And then yeah, when you, was the yeah, last time you've done that? Yeah, that was the, yeah, know, that yeah, was was the 2018, 2018, I think it was, yeah. We well, were on no, like a no, seven sorry, game. When was the last, oh uh, yeah, keep yeah, carrying with this. Say, yeah. Also, when was the last time you did one of your St. Anton's? One of the trips. Uh, the boys did one in the summer whilst we were in the World Cup. Rimini. Yeah. No, go on, sorry. Um, yeah. Sorry, so yeah, we were on that like seven, I think it could even be a nine game losing streak. And uh, and we came in after. I remember we played. It was when we were playing Claremont on the Sunday at home. It had snowed, so they couldn't get there. So we played Monday night, and it was one of the times we played Racket. You ever seen Racket play for Claremont? So good. I uh, just everything he touched that day. I think he might have scored four, maybe gave him five. Um, a crazy. So we've 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 played. I've actually come off the bench and like. So I've I've contributed to that demise, but like not fully. So I'm I'm walking in on the on the Wednesday. Everyone says, right, everyone, staff, everyone in on Wednesday morning. Um I'm thinking, God, this is gonna get ugly. Like I'm I've braced myself to like be a part of this depiction of like what's happened. Anyway, coaches just li- walk in, morning, leave. And it's just the players. <laughs> It gets quite emotional. Boys saying how much they care, like what we what we think is a issue, and then Billy just stands up. This is um, Billy's. Billy was drinking at this point. He doesn't drink anymore. So, so whilst the meeting was going on. No, 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 no. Sorry, <laughs> Billy, 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 Billy was uh, able to drink no, at this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Not just uh, halfway yeah, through. Yeah, halfway yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> halfway through. Fosters. Um, <laughs> anyway, he, he stood mouth. up and he was like, "Boys, you know, our problem is we just haven't been like getting together. We haven't been socialising together. We've, we've fractured as a squad." And he'd, he, I don't know whether he'd been teed up to say this or they'd managed to organise a piss up in about 20 minutes. But we all got up, got in our cars and met in a bar in St Albans and stayed there for the rest of the day and we didn't lose a game for the rest of the season. That's it. Yes. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's class. How good was that session? Though, is it? Well, yeah, I was still quite young, but I was like, are we doing like, is this real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is pro rugby. Someone week. watching. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. I, 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 you know, it's, it's like one of those ones. Like, is this yeah. a trick? Yeah. And eventually, once I saw like a few other boys having a beer, I was like, okay, fine. And then yeah, we had we had a good night, and like yeah, it was just one of those cases of like almost pressing the reset button. Let's all start from square one again and and go again. And yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll always that'll always stick with me for sure. Why have you not had a mid season piss up? It's Did just you? been it's just been an intense time. Like, I've not really not really fitted it in. Um, well, I think I think you've got well, well, it. yeah, I think it's I think it's pending because obviously there's the Six Nations period now, isn't there, where there's no Premiership yeah. games or one game or whatever. So um, that'll probably come for the um, for that time. But um, yeah, we'll see. It, it, it's always a it's always a I, I feel for the the guy who organises it. He he's kind of lose lose because I think he keeps coming and be like, we should do this, and the coaches are like. No. <laughs> who, is, who is social who's, set? Yeah, who's who is social set? Well, we don't re- we don't really have like a social set. We've got like a head of culture who's a member of staff, and oh really? Yeah, cool which title. is which is a cool cool title, and he really does a lot of cool stuff. And we've had some really interesting people come in and like talk to us. And so, for example, we had the um, we had the old creative director of the Mercedes F1 team. He's actually just recently been. He had literally been like fired the week before, so he was coming in like just telling all like Amazing. so-and-so and this and that. And it was like awesome. And then like, we've had like people like the two journalists who found out about the Boris party gate and they were like yeah. telling that story. And like, we've had some amazing people come in and I've had Joey Barton come in who we were speaking about, which is just bonkers. Um, and then like uh, Sean Dyche, very interesting guy, like those people like that. And then, so yeah, um, coming in and, and hearing that stuff 
so yeah, he he probably comes in a lot of the time and be like, boys say they need this and the coach is just like, no. But there's a few senior players like Jamie George, very good at organising. Goody, obviously infamously meant to be very good on the piss, is really not, but is like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a, that, that yeah, legend. How did he manage to boys get just... so wound up by that. Yeah, like, honestly, like, I can't believe terrible it. Like, history. So he, so he, he, he on, put, he, he put his, on. he put his, he had a testimonial year, which lasted about three years or whatever. He had about, <laughs> about he, obviously I'm close to Goody, like we're very close and whatever. And he had a lot of dinners and I was single at the time. And, and he, he was like, hey, you're not got anything on, you come to my dinner. So I said, I must have, I should have started charging with fever. Anyway, <laughs> so he's put this, uh, he's put his, he's put, I don't know if this is the case, but it, it had to be, you couldn't sell it, but he had, he put, he had put the whole kit and the bum bag up for an auction as like a cool, it's a really cool gift. And it went for like so much money. And all the boys are like ripping their out, like, it's not even good on the beers. Like, <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> the uh, whole the it. whole outfit. That yeah. Fair play. Fair play. Yeah, well, like, yeah, exactly. He's he's created a name for himself. But like, yeah, he's he's very good at organizing. He'll tend to organize a lot of like the night, the stuff that like the social stuff that we do. So what's the what's the head of culture's background? Like what's he So he used to be team manager at the club and now he's like he's been so ingrained in everything and lived with a lot of the boys and stuff. So he's now like um he he's he's one of them and then there's another guy who's like head of personal development who's got like a thousand degrees and he's 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 very interesting guy. Head of culture. Yeah. So I was just thinking like Glasgow could do with one of those. Is that you, is it? Yeah, there you go. Be. I think oh, I could God. be head of culture. Oh, good God. <laughs> the SRU, you head of culture. In. The SRU. Yeah. You turn everyone into a bunch of yeah. degenerates. Yeah. Well, What's Franco's left, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, but what? So they drive socials. They drive, like, drive socials. Because they do your boys. Like, speak, you, call it speaker push, series. Push the boundaries with it. Because, like, I remember Pete Horn, Ken Dan, he said, you boys are doing, like, mindfulness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that, so there's a stigma around it. Boys would go, what a yeah. bunch of lunatics. But actually, he was like, yeah, there everyone's was, buying into it. Even Scucks. Yeah. Like, I couldn't believe it. There was a good there. bit. The good bit around it. Like, there's the, the whole crush thing that we oh, they do at the club. Yeah. Which is obviously great for, the, yeah. great for the boys. Um, Talk to me about the mindfulness. So boys go in there and they just... Yeah, so it'd be before gym and you'd go in and, and they'd get this person in to do it and you'd, and you'd sit there. And I mean, some boys might be there just to have a nap. But like, you know, yeah, like, a, good, a good chunk of the boys will be there to... To buy in and yeah it's just a nice way to start the day and um yeah How often I, do you do that? they do it they do it once or twice a week now they he would yeah, never yeah, believe he's not, he's not <laughs> that's, that's no, so no, like, no 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 like no 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 Intra- it have you tried it? Have you tried I it? have. My mind is just, it just doesn't work that way. Have my you- to-do list grows with breath work. <laughs> yeah. My to-do list is Have you ever done like allotropic breath work? Like, no, no I, I don't want to hear about <laughs> it. Yeah. That, <laughs> that? That's that? when you put something out of your bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the one? Is that what <laughs> <laughs> No, you just get, you can get like quite, quite potent visuals if you breathe a certain way for a while. No, oh, I, I, no I fucking, I did that the other very, day. I did the very, Wim Hof very thing close, and yeah. I nearly passed out. Yeah, how good is it? No, it's Oh, I feel not. amazing after that. But like, that. what's your, like, what's your recovery, like, do you have a routine. recovery routine? Uh, like an, a, 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 you know, like a schedule one. Just the ropes. Mostly movement. Yeah, but like ice. Yeah, ice. Sauna. Sauna. Do you do that? Oh, I've, I've got like a strict. Do you? What's Give yours? it to us. Oh, Here we go. Yeah, that's what we're so doing. first day, well, day are night of the game. Now that I'm not um, night of drinking, the game. so after the night game, of yeah. The game. So after the game, I mm. tend to go in the ice bath. Okay. Which is I've got. I'm Straight lucky off. lucky enough to have an ice bath at home, so I do that. Shout out for this Watson. Yeah. Fire and ice, well being. <laughs> <laughs> Fire and ice. Um, then same on Monday with like cupping you like cupping oh you like cupping do you? that's the Chinese my guy yeah. cupping and oh, then no not that yeah you know that it's and then two days in the middle of the week God. saunas and then I have a have a rub a, a, a massage on the on the <laughs> Friday God. with a with an ice bath you oh, don't sauna 36 hours before the game that's concur yeah, that's entirely so with that yeah it's always got but I remember time. like some players at Bristol were like were like you know like staggering out the sauna we're kicking off in three hours I was saying yeah. myself Bro, you're, gonna you're Pissing sweat, yeah. yeah. How are you gonna you're gonna cramp Why like when you do that? I don't know, some guys there because it's there and they just love it because the high is quite addictive, isn't it? Have you have you still got that at the Bristol? The it, hasn't, it hasn't been taken from us just yet. <laughs> so, no, a sauna. Yeah, we got a sauna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what, yeah. Is it, oh, it might get taken away. No, I'm joking. But yeah, ice bath and sauna is quite lovely. I, I like the contrast therapy yeah. as well. That's but good. I completely agree about the 36 hours. I That's, feel like I feel like we might be. Do you ever you ever scrap at training? 
Yeah. Yeah, see, I thought we were wired up the same way because I would, I'd never, never ever scrap or fight with anyone at training uh, with the boys. It's as soon as, like you said about Scott Burger, cross the white line. Yeah, it was like just, I was in, it's almost like an foaming. act. Like I'd just get in there and be like, I could just fucking be someone else for 80 minutes. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Why don't you just go like to a a mind, like a mindset coach? Fight club. Yeah, why don't you go down to like fucking bad? <laughs> yeah, but you could learn some stuff. We were having we were having a conversation other. like that in the in the gym at the fours this morning. We're like, who are your three staples that like you'd have to win? You'd have to be uh, be up. I or you can never come back to the club again. Like, who are they? And like, it was so funny. Like, some boys being like, you what? Let's let's like let's do it now. Like, it's like it's yeah. like. Thank, I, and I, I, me and me and Mako actually started it, and we just walked off like, oh god, so god, funny. no one ever asked us. <laughs> Who were your three? I actually, I actually like, I can't say. I, I, I'm, I can't say. I, can't say. I don't know really, like, uh, Pat because Pat there's Pat like, Pat because Pat because Pat there's Pat like, Pat Pat there's Pat like, Pat you know, like, what, you know, what circumstances I've got a full ring? Because if it is, then you're going against some of the big lads. You're just going to keep moving until they get shattered, and then, <laughs> then they collapse themselves. Um, but like if someone like Maka gets you, it's over, isn't it? Like it's just it's just over. Like they're hard as he's hard as nails, and you get in it. Um, yeah. So who, who did you take? Which scrum half did you take down in the street? No, it's only forwards. Oh, only forwards. Okay. Sorry, so the backs was easy. The backs was just like all the nines, and then some <laughs> yeah, nines yeah. were like, "No way!" Like all this, and I was like, "Thank you." Benny, I'm not gonna fill anyone in. I'm not. I'm a lover, not a fire. Ben, if you could exhibit the world and you could see sort of some kind of value above people's heads. What would it measure? Above my head. No, above, above people. You, above everyone's, everyone's head. So you could measure something. So a scale you would know, of, of you would know value. What, yeah, anything. So you walk into a room and you can see their level of something. Yeah. Above everyone's head, and it gives you a value of something above that. Probably, if 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 a hundred would be like they can take any chat, and zero would be they could take absolutely none. It would probably be their reading about like their ability to take. Banter oh, and chat. Vita. That's not bad. Because then you can just like, if if you had a hundred, I could just hammer you for hours. Yeah, It'd be great. And, and then you'd be like, oh, we're sweet. It. Whereas like, if you meet someone and you're zero and you have a bit of banter and you're like, I should oh, not no. have said that. I've ruined you know that. that was? Go on. Well, actually, fuck, you went to an all-boys school, right? Um, The most classic thing of an all-boys school who sees girls like just at weekends. Mel Gibson, what just, women want. It would be just knowing that whether they fancied you or not. <laughs> that was my one. That's actually not a bad one for like. Just literally for like, imagine like, like, like objectively, the age of like hundred percent, hundred percent is like pure infatuation and yeah. zero is and like, you like, disgust me and you're like, all right, well I'm in the sixties, so I'm like, oh, so sorry, in, sure. solid. That's I basically, don't mind that, basically yeah. dating he likes, apps. Uh, he likes well, no, but this is more like this is actually you know, and you're know. not gonna. Right, good shops. question, Max. What was bless? What was bless? Uh, what was it cock was size? What's yours? What's yours? Yeah, what's Blair's it? was cock size. What's yours, Max? Why? Their ability to rope. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't let this go. He hates it. Yes Anything no. a little esoteric, and you are just against Come it. Come on, let's hear yours. <laughs> you are such an old man. No, come on, Max. Let's hear what's yours. mine? Yeah. Do you ask me another one? You can come back. I'll come back to you. So if you uh, you either have you either forget who you are, or you forget who everyone else is, what do you choose? Forget who you are. No, oh, that was Blair. Blair was like that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love like love like I love being around people. I love being like imagine like being there and being like oh, I've got no clue who you are. Like it's one of your best mates or your missus. That'll be <laughs> that'll be a disaster. Sorry, yeah, you'd be like, you, you love me. <laughs> you know, no, yeah, but wouldn't it be strange if you like all these people were so like and you have no idea who they are? Bear in mind they're strangers now to you. I'm but saying they're still that. Very I don't want that. No, I don't want he, that. He's forgotten who I, he is. I forgot who I am. He remembers who they are. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. Go on, give us the podcast plug. I'm not very good at it. You oh my god, it's so easy, man. So easy. Go. Right, Ben, show how it's done. Go. Make sure you subscribe to their podcast on wherever you get your podcasts. Called More or Nothing. More or Nothing is the name. There we go. Done. Wherever you get your podcasts. My guy. Sadly, that is all the time we've got left for this week. Huge thank you uh, to Ryan and to Max as always, but the biggest thanks to Ben for spending. Uh, half a day effectively with us <laughs> when he was told he was told 20 minutes an hour max uh, but um, huge thank you Ben uh, best of luck with the Six Nations and the rest of the season as well um, yeah I hope well I suppose England fans are hoping for some big things but I'm um, hoping that it all goes very well but thank you all for watching and listening as you just heard do subscribe do like do all the things that you should do but we'll see you all next week More or nothing.
I've got a question for Max. Are you doing a cookbook soon? A cookbook? Some of the things you're making at the moment are. They made do not well. look it. What did, I, what did I make last time? I made some, like, some sort of beef stew, and I, I thought, if, I, if you give me that, I'd be gutted, really. <laughs> do you host? Yeah, but beef stew. Do you host? Do you host? Do you host? No, hold on. No, he doesn't host, because every time I've gone to Bristol, no, he won't let host, me sleep at his ass, because he reckons he's been moving for the last night. I actually have been. I'm, a, I'm moving this month. No, I, I've I'm got you. sorry, mate. Like, beef stew's never but what gonna, are you going to do, yeah, with, your, what stews... are you gonna do with your indoor gym? Yeah, I've got... Yeah, that's... And, that, and that, like, aggressively heavy ball. How heavy is the ball? No, no, the sandbag. Yeah. The ball is also aggressively heavy, but the sandbag's a real problem. I'm not sure how I'm going to move that. You've done your back with doing that before? No, you? not quite, but did close you, to. Did you send him the 